Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Lisa. And in this video, you're going to hear and see references to the JLT oil separator. Well, we're excited to announce that as of December 2021, all JLT oil separators will now be J and L oil separators. Same great product with a different name. Thank you for your purchase. We're going to walk you through the installation of the JLT 3.0 oil separator for your 2020 Ford Escape 1.5 liter EcoBoost. Included in the JLT kit is a fully assembled oil separator with quick connect fittings, a mounting bracket and mounting screws. The tools you'll need for installation is a 10 millimeter socket, extension and ratchet, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Let's get started. First step, we're going to need to remove this engine cover. It just pulls up, pull up at each corner. And then the last one is right here in the center. And just set that to the side. Next is our PCV line. To remove this, there is a blue tab. Yeah, your connections may be gray. You just pull the blue tab away from the connection and pull up. And then for the one at the valve cover, you can spin that around and you'll see the tab here. Let's pull that back away and remove the connection. Next, we're gonna need to mount the JLT bracket. There's this 10 millimeter nut here off of this alternator cover. I'm gonna remove that nut. Then you're gonna slide your JLT bracket over that stud and reinstall the nut you just removed. Straighten up your bracket and tighten that nut down. Grab your JLT oil separator, align the logos, and mount the can to the bracket with the supplied screws. Now the hose from the J side of the can is going to sweep inside and connect to the connection at the valve cover. I like to use the natural bend of the hose. This hose is you know, wound up on a reel when it's manufactured. So if your hose is facing the other direction, all of these hoses will move. And the same thing with the connections in the end. Those will twist. You can move them like so. Sometimes they might be a little tough, but they will break free. So we want to use the natural bend of the hose to make this sweeping curve and just push on these connections like so. And then the hose on the T side is going to connect to our manifold. So I'm going to adjust that fitting to get that to sit straight. That makes our connection. Once everything gets hot a few times, first couple times you drive it, everything's going to relax and lay where it wants to be. Now, if you ever wanted to remove your oil separator, to release these fittings, you'll see the button that says push. You press in on that button and pull up on the fitting and that releases. Now, the fitting at the valve cover, the button's on the opposite side. So just rotate your hose around until you can get a good grasp on that. And you'll press that button and work that fitting off too, like so. Grab our engine cover. And align. The holes, that pushes down. That completes your installation.